Beard, meat, box cutter. Oh yeah. Shave it up! Hey everybody, it's me, the Clean Shaver, and I'm back. It's been a while. I think the last video I did was around Thanksgiving. So, uh, I'm back. I have a beard. It's been growing on me for about four months or so, and my wife has finally decided that uh, she doesn't like it anymore. So, adios to the beard. And I, I'm the kind of guy that I like having things come and go, so I'm fine with it. It's not a big deal. It can always grow back. And chances are, when it grows back, it'll be even more glorious. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into it. I've got some products that I want to review along with this video, but I'm going to be shaving my beard off with nothing more than a box cutter blade. So, and just to prove that this is, this is indeed a new box cutter blade, I am going to open it for you right here. Boom, right there. Okay, set that aside over here. All right, so first we're gonna get going with some Soap Commander, their new seasonal scent, Intuition. Fabulous, fabulous soap. And uh, very uh, generously gifted to me actually from David Munoz. Thank you, Dave, I really appreciate it. This is fantastic stuff. Smells, to my nose, a lot like uh, Burberry for men. Um, it's excellent, excellent stuff. And of course, Soap Commander, hard to go wrong, so. Get that going, and where did my brush go? Where did I put my brush? Weird, I'll be right back. Okay, and I got my brush here. So, something special about this brush, and notice it has some beautiful wood coloring to it. I made this. Um, story behind it. So my grandfather, on my mom's side, passed away well, probably about six years ago, something like that. And um, my grandmother has recently started living with my parents. And she's 91. Um, shouldn't be living on her own, so she's living with my parents. And uh, my dad brought home, they were up at her house for a little bit, and they brought home a chunk of cedar that was growing in front of their house. And uh, let me get this going while we're talking. From a tree that was growing right out in front of their house, he brought it home, and I'd recently gotten into wood turning. I even have an Etsy shop set up for some brushes that I've made recently. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, but check it out if you're interested. I'm not really trying to make a lot of money with it, just, just having fun. Um, anyway, so I'd recently gotten into wood turning, and my dad brought the piece of cedar home and said, hey, have fun with it, see what you can do with it. Little did I know how beautiful these brushes would turn out. I'll put a screenshot of the uh, of the finished product here. Um, I ended up making nine brushes for myself, my dad, my brothers, and my uncles on my mom's side. This is my mom's mother that we're that we're talking about, my maternal grandmother. And uh, a couple of my cousins as well that are all into wet shaving. So, made them some brushes from this very, very special wood and they turned out fabulous. I mean, I'm, I don't wanna be one to toot my own horn, but I was really, really pleased with how they turned out. Anyway, this is gonna be epic. Look at this. This beer's been growing on me for a while. You can see how long it is. Okay. All right, let's do this. So. I'm just going to do the first pass with the box cutter here because I don't want to completely maim myself, but like a hot knife through butter. Look at that. Aim the camera down a little bit here so you can see a little better maybe. Oop, oop, totally got myself there. Dang it. Really got myself there. I gotta be a little more careful. Right? I'm not gonna clog up my sink with that. 
put that in the garbage. Whew. Yeah. Really, really got myself there. Holy crap. Okay. Wow. Yikes. Did not think that that was going to happen. Okay, let's keep going. I caught the, uh, the tip of my blade there in my skin. Really, really dumb. Dumb mistake on my part. Dang it. And that's going to burn like crazy. Oh. The reason I'm doing this instead of like a straight razor is because, well, my straight razors are out being serviced right now. So. be fun. I'm gonna have fun explaining that to my wife. Okay. Whew. There we go. See it's working. Hot knife through butter, like I said. Did I cut myself there too? Yep, looks like I did. Dang it. Okay, this might be one of the coolest or dumbest things I've ever done, but we'll see. Anyway, um, where was I? So yeah, I uh, had a lot of fun making those brushes, anyway. I would probably not recommend doing this at home. Like a lot of my videos, I guess. Oh. Now, for those of you wondering, no, I'm not going to shave my... I'm not going to do the entire shave like this, because that's just stupid. Okay. Mix that off, and go with the left hand here. Oh, oh, oh. Whew. Well, I'll be baby paste once more. Seriously, that took way less effort than I thought it would. Granted, I've cut myself up pretty good. But, there we go. Okay, that's done. Now, time to rinse. Whew. This is going to sting. Let's inspect my damage here. Mm, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was. Okay. It should be all right. Okay. And I missed a few hairs here and there, but that's okay. I'll clean it up. So what I'm going to do now is clean up with this. Uh, this is a razor that was sent to me recently by a fellow named uh, Sheldon Quinn. And he is starting a new uh, company called Global Shave Club. And uh, doing kind of a cool thing with it. So he's selling some shaving products, obviously, but... Uh, he is making part of his business um, having some of the proceeds go to a children's charity. I can't remember the name of the charity off the top of my head. I really should know. But, um, yeah. Pretty cool dude. Wanted to do some good with uh, 
with shaving. So, and I know he's going to be launching some of these razors here pretty quick. Um, this one in particular is called the Espresso model. It's a twist open. It's got a brass or gold colored cap and then anodized handle. Okay, and that cut of mine is opening right up again. Very, very carefully go across it here. Okay. Okay, so in reality, this probably wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done, but certainly not, certainly not the dumbest. Which might give you a scale for some of the decisions I've made in my life. Okay. And that's actually pretty dang good. I think I'm going to stop with that on my face. Clean shaven once again. Ooh, man. Yep, I really got myself there. Oh well. Okay, time for the head. Let's do it. All right, got a couple other products that I want to take a look at here in just a minute. Um, but before I do, let's talk about the razor just a little bit more. So this is a, uh, like I said, twist to open. It's actually based on the Weishi, or Weishir, Razor, I'm not sure uh, how to pronounce that. If it's actually spelled out in Mandarin Pinin, then S-H-I makes the sound sure. Um, so I guess I, I need to look up the characters and find out how it's actually supposed to be said, but whatever. Okay. A little more water in here. There we go. And just so we're clear, no, I didn't plan on cutting myself. That was completely by accident. I don't think anybody planned that kind of thing. So if you did, it's totally not worth it. Not worth planning that. Okay, this is where I gotta be really careful with the razor because I have a mole right there on the top of my right ear. There we go. Alright, man, I really can't see. My, my mirror is fully fogging up on me, it's really annoying. Alright, there we go. So the razor itself is uh, actually very. Nice, as a could be an everyday driver for a lot of folks. Um, it's not, it's fairly mild, but it's not super mild. Um, such that, I mean, I've got, uh, I forget, three days of growth here on my head. Let's see, I shaved, I guess it's two days, I shaved Friday morning. Or no, no, actually I didn't. I shaved Thursday morning. That was the last time. So yeah, three days. Today's Sunday. I'm shooting this, so. Um, yeah. Taking down three days worth of growth on my head with not, without much trouble, so. And that'll give you some frame of reference. It's not super mild, but it is, it's also definitely not aggressive. I also wouldn't call it passive aggressive, though, because that's just not cool. That means it would come, it would secretly bite me. Or talk behind my, talk to other razors behind my back. Okay. Alright, so that's done. Okay. 
There we go. All right, so here's what we're gonna do now. The other product I have here to talk about is from Captain's Choice, it's called Venture. Um, it is a take on uh, Creed Aventus, and uh, smells really, really nice. And of course, Captain's Choice, in all honesty, makes some of the best aftershaves out there, in my opinion. Um, I love their Bay Rum. Their Bay Rum is, ooh, that was dumb. Ooh, 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 ooh. ow. Mm. You want a lot of burn? Put alcohol aftershave on a cut like that. Ooh. <laughs> okay. At least I smell great. Um, <laughs> their uh, aftershave is some of the best. Um, I, I really enjoy it. And uh, this smells fantastic. I do wish the smell lasted a little bit longer on it. Uh, for now, it, for me, the last several times I've used it, it's lasted probably two, three hours or so, the smell on it. Maybe four if I'm, uh, if I like re-wet it or something like that. But, um, yeah. Anyway, that's my shave. So, um, let's see, wrap up here. So, uh, you'll notice I'm wearing the Prada Release Syndrome Association uh, shirt. We are doing the fundraiser for Noah again this year. If you are interested in uh, participating uh, in part of the raffle or just out of the goodness of your heart, you can go to http colon slash slash bit bit dot ly slash Noah PWS 2018. That's capital N capital PWS. Uh, those are important. If you don't use the capitals, it'll take you to a dead link. So um, bit dot ly slash Noah PWS 2018. That's the link to his fundraising page. We're hoping to maybe raise $5,000, but I'm also trying to be realistic about it because we're also in the process of buying a house and getting moved and all kinds of stuff going on. So I don't know how devoted I'm going to be able to be to it, but we are going to be working with some artisans to get some donations and, and things like that for the raffle. So if you're interested, please participate. We would love to have it. Um, we and truly appreciate your support. Um, then let's see wrap up. So yeah, Shaving brush was one of my own, um, made from cedar from my grandpa, from my grandparents' house. Um, and check out my Etsy page down in the link or down in the description below. Uh, Global Shave Club Razor Twist to Open with a Persona blade in it, by the way. Um, this one's called the Espresso. The Java Razor, I think, is going to be released sometime this week. And then soap was Intuition from Soap Commander. Fabulous stuff. Aftershave. Captain's Choice Venture. And of course, the blade that took down my beard, plain old gem box cutter blade. And took a chunk out of my face too, but hey, whatever. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, find me on all my social media outlets down in the description below. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google+, Voice by Snapchat, Kick, they're all down there. And um, please, if you're able, consider uh, contributing to Noah's fundraiser this year. Um, it's gonna be wonderful. So thank you all for watching. Be smooth, shave it up, and we'll see you next time. Later.